call me. Add your opinion to the Breakfast Club top. Come on. 800-585-1051. Yes, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the God, Angela Yee, DJ Envy is off today. And today we are discussing how old is too old. Where does this come from, Yee? Now, Young Miami had wrote on Twitter. Excuse me, I'm at home. There's uh, sirens. Young Miami wrote on Twitter, what age do y'all consider old? And her comments were in shambles. After that, people were writing Diddy. Diddy is old. Sean Combs and things like that. But then it brings up the question. Amazing comeback, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> do you guys consider old? I was actually talking about it this weekend, too, when I was visiting my college. It was reunion weekend. There were people there who graduated in 52, you know, just marching in. And I was like, man, that is amazing uh, just to see that age is definitely a blessing. But what do you say is old, Charlemagne? Man, that, that's a great question. I don't know, because every time I think I know what old is, I meet someone who is at a certain age that reminds me how much more life there is to live. Like on Friday, I was coming back from uh, Hilton Head and I sat on the plane next to this 86 year old woman from Long Island who had just came back from her homegirl's crib in Hilton Head. And she had like this really big infectious laugh. And, you know, she was talking to me about how she survived cancer twice. And, you know, she's still out there living her life. Like, still out there enjoying things, you know? Like, telling me she had a trip to Turks and Caicos playing coming up soon. So it's just like, man, she's 80-something years old, and she's still living life. She walking through the airport, you know, getting her bags like everybody else. So I don't, I, I don't, I really don't know what old is anymore, to be honest. Well, if you had to put a number on it, what number would you put on it? Uh, Dead. Like when you when you when you've gotten to the point where you're so when you're so old that you just die of natural causes at like ninety something or a hundred and something. Even look at um uh, uh Violet Fletcher, one of the Black Wall Street survivors. She's a hundred and seven years old, and she's still out here, you know, doing interviews, you know, talking about what she experienced during the Tulsa race massacre. Like I, I, I don't even think old is a number. Old is like a, a state of mind. When you get to that point where you feel like you can't do anything, when you get to that point where you feel like you don't have no more life left, that's what old is to me. Some of y'all old at twenty something. Mm. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that. My grandfather, he um, he lived into his nineties, and he was Sorry, always going for walks that? outside. He was, uh, you know, very talkative, always watching his shows on television, really active. And so, you know, he actually fell in the hospital and hit his head, and that's what caused him to to pass. But um, he was very lively until, you know, in his 90s. And so that's what I feel. I feel like aging is just another word for living. So when you get to that point where you feel like you're not living anymore, you don't have anything to live for, I think that's when you officially become old. But like I said, man, there's so many people that I'm meeting that that are older than me, like, I'm 43, so in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, I never thought I would see 43, but now I meet 60-something-year-olds and 80-something-year-olds that are still living, living, and just doing a lot of things for the first time. So I don't know what I don't know what old is. But I will say, take care of yourself. Watch your diet. Make sure you exercise. Do all the things that you need to do because that is what makes a huge difference, right? So I just want to mm-hmm. put that out there. There's people who I've seen that have amazing, like, workout regimens and they eat well and they're healthy and they look younger than some of these 20-year-olds. So, you know, just putting that out there. But right. let's see what you guys think. 800-585-1051. Yes. Hi, I wanted to say what's old. Now, if you qualify for all those senior discounts, like in restaurants and movies <laughs> and cruises and anything like that, the 50 plus or 55 plus, you know, that is officially old. And if you are in a relationship now, with somebody, if they are more than 10 years your senior, <laughs> then that's too old. Okay, well, I want to push back on that just a little bit. This is just, I just want to put something out there. When you're 18, you're old enough to do certain things. When you're 21, you're old enough to do certain things. Does that mean you're old just because you're old enough to get certain benefits or be allowed to do certain things? No, I'm talking about the the senior discounts, Charlemagne. When you go to the movies, when you're taking a trip, when you you sit down at IHOP, if you get that senior discount, free pancakes. You are officially old. I ain't talking right. about like no 18, AA. 21 she's talking about AARP and things like that. That's like really what yeah. it's uh, well, defined as. Well, I can't wait till I can get the IHOP senior discount, damn it. I want that 10%. <laughs> Me too, mother. Okay. Now, how, how old is <laughs> I got 12 more years. 12 more years. I'll be 55 and I can get that 10% senior discount from IHOP. Okay, look. So AARP, that's the American Association of Retired Persons. That is for um, over the age of 50. 
Okay. I'm with that. That's a good age. 50 is a great age. Listen, I just hope that as I get older, I get better. That's all you can hope for. That's all you can hope for. And 50 right around the corner. I'll be 44 this year. 50 is right there. Well, I'm staring 50 in the face. Mm-hmm. All right. How old is too old? We're discussing it this morning on The Breakfast Club. Call us 1-800-585-1051. 